Hey guys, Barbara here. Have you ever wondered what to do with leftover egg yolks after you've separated them to use only the whites to bake something? Well, wonder no more. Today, I'm going to be making vanilla custard. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. That's when she's putting in ingredients and anything she's making, that's how she does this thing. Like these. First of all, I want you guys to know that I got this recipe from David at One Pot Chef, okay? I just went to his site, snatched it off of there. I didn't even ask because every time I ask him, he's always gracious and he says yes. So let's hope I can do this to perfection like he did, all right? So a cup and a half of regular milk. Well, I'm using regular high fat milk, all right? One cup of heavy whipping cream, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and I have it like this because that's how we're gonna use it. I'm gonna use six of the egg yolks from the 12 that we use for the angel food cake, half a cup of caster sugar, and two teaspoons of cornstarch. Let me show you something about the sugar. This is regular granulated sugar. This is um, caster sugar, and let me show you how I made it. I just went to the Nutribullet, and I put the half a cup in and I just blended it fine. This is actual powder sugar. So just to show you the difference. So when you see caster sugar in a recipe, don't panic. You can make it as long as you have a blender, okay? So we're gonna need a pot or a skillet. And what we're gonna do first of all is put in the first three ingredients, the milk. You guys know I love custard, but I usually make it from the tin, from bird's custard, which is good too. But I can't wait to taste this. This is the first time I'm making this one from scratch. I have another custard recipe at the site, I believe, but it's one that you bake. So put all this liquid in. We're going to take this over to the stove now and get this cooked. Leave these here because these three go together. While this is cooling down a bit, we're going to deal with this. So let's go over to the stove. I have the heat on high, but I'm going to turn it down at some point because you don't want the milk to scald, okay? We just want this to cook for about 10 minutes, thereabouts. Let me turn the heat down to medium even now. So, I will come back when something is happening, okay? Oh, I almost forgot. Thank you, Joe. Here's your sponsor board. Shout out to our sponsors, planyournextevent.com, bluefield-prod.com, Don and Marie Savino, Cindy McClay, and Leah Flaherty. If your name is not on this, it's because it didn't appear. You didn't appear as a sponsor yet while I'm making this show. This is about five minutes in and see it's bubbling. We just wanted to get a little bit thicker and you want to keep stirring because you don't want this to burn and turn the heat down if you have to but so far I still have it on medium okay so I'm gonna let it go a little bit more and this happened in no time at all within like a minute of me telling you guys let's wait a little bit more so let me go ahead and turn this off I'm gonna get it off the burner because the burner's hot so it's still cooking you know just put it on this thing right here while I work on the rest of the ingredients so this is cooling down a little bit while we work on this part. Now you guys know I'm only using six of the egg yolks out of the 12. The other six you can make creme brulee. I've never made it. I've watched the videos on YouTube. I need a blowtorch, which I don't have, but you can best believe that's coming up in the future. So the next six eggs, if I don't make another batch of custard, what I'm gonna do is just cook it and feed it to the dogs, but the eggs are not gonna go to waste, okay? So these are the egg yolks. I'm sorry, I keep saying eggs, but they're egg yolks the half a cup of the caster sugar, and I'm gonna switch out to my whisk, and two teaspoons of um, cornstarch. And if you need to have your custard thicker, I like my customer, custor, customer, <laughs> I like my custard more on the thin side, you would add more cornstarch. So, and you guys like how I'm doing this recipe just based solely on what David showed, right? Because I trust his recipes uh, through and through. I don't know David personally, but I've had conversations with him from time to time through YouTube and he's been just delightful. 
he he's always been delightful always giving always kind and this is somebody that I'd love to meet um, somebody in YouTube that I'd love to meet just like how some of you guys would love to meet me when I'm nobody <laughs> I'd love to meet David so guys see this is gorgeous coming on this Joe I have Joe running camera and I'm also directing <laughs> so what we're gonna do is temper the eggs so we're gonna put a little bit of the hot thing into the eggs and then we're gonna bring the eggs up to temperature of what the milk was so we don't scramble the eggs okay I never knew this until I started doing my show I know that they taught it to us at Catherine's when we were doing home ec, but I never knew why ready oh it smells like custard already Ooh, Lord it smells good guys and if you want it sweeter after you try this recipe then you just put more sugar and you can put more sugar after the fact too you can even put condensed milk that's what I when I do this custard I put cow's milk with a little bit of condensed milk and I put the powder in and, and that's why I do this custard. So let's go back to the stove because we're going to have to thicken this now. When you get ready to turn off the camera, I um, must slowly pan to my sponsors again and I won't say anything. Okay, so all we want to do is just like making the bird's custard on the stove top, you want to stir this vigorously until it thickens. You're going to feel it start to thicken, okay? And, and it's to the thickness that you desire. So I want to make sure this doesn't burn. I have the heat on medium again. This is looking so lovely. Thank you, David, for putting out this recipe. And I will definitely tag him in this to let him see that I made it. I, I, I feel it start to thickening on the bottom. To thicken. I'm, I feel it thickening on the bottom already. I can't talk this morning. So I'm not going to um, play with this. I'm not going to walk away. Let me even turn my heat down a little bit. So I would say we're going almost a minute right now. And I will let you know how long it takes to get totally thick. This is right at two minutes. I even set the timer just now for two minutes, but I won't even get to four. This is right at, see? Look how thick and beautiful this is. Oh my goodness. Thank you, David. I can make custard from scratch now. I don't need to use that powder because God knows what's in that powder. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so this is done. Let me cut the heat off because it's thick enough for me. If you want it to go thicker, you would stir it a little bit more on the stove, okay? So about three minutes. Cut the heat off and then let me get something to serve this in. Let me get it off this hot burner. And shout out to Joe who's running camera for me. I really appreciate my staff behind the scenes. And you're going to hear some more shout outs to them, okay? Just as much as I shout out the people who give to my show because you guys make this happen, all right? You really do. Mm -hmm. I brought in all three ramekins from the garage. This is where I keep my, my um, YouTube stuff in the garage because I just don't know which one will make the custard look prettier. Which one do you guys think? I'm asking my audience out there in, in YouTube land, which ramekin makes the custard prettier? I think the purple one. Yes, yes. I'm glad I brought that one in then. Let me sprinkle a little bit of um, cinnamon on top. Ooh. You should just use a finger and sprinkle it. You think so? That's what I do. Okay, Joe gave some advice. He says just use my finger to sprinkle it. They don't use that sieve. I think I need that, that duster pouch that these bakers use to sprinkle icing sugar and stuff. Let me dry my finger. And all this why? Because I'm trying to do a thumbnail. Oh, look at Joe being so smart. Thank you, my love. Okay, let's go take my picture. Then we're going to taste. I want to give a special shout out to David at One Pot Chef. When I first started doing YouTube, he was the first cook that I came across on YouTube and I loved his style, I loved his accent, and I just love the beauty that this man exudes. I reached out to him several times for help while doing YouTube and he's always been there to give support, to give advice. He doesn't even know me, guys. Like I said before, he doesn't know me, but he's always there to help. So I took this one from his repertoire 
and I'm going to tag him in it so he can see because I think I did a really good job with it. I really admire and respect the fact that when he puts up a recipe, it is accurate. And that's how I do my thing. I don't put up the recipe if it's not accurate because I want when you guys do it, it comes out right the first time and you don't have to waste a whole lot of ingredients. So this came out perfect the first time that I did it, which is right now. And I really appreciate that about David. So if you guys watch his channel, just tell him that I made a video with his custard. I'm also going to tag him in the video once I upload it tomorrow. Um, I want to thank you guys, my faithful subscribers, my viewers, because I know some of you view but don't subscribe. Please go ahead and do that now. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do that now. And um, you see me through a rough year. Uh, October 23rd, that past made five years that I've been doing YouTube. This year was the roughest for me because I lost four loved ones in the space of seven months, one of them being my, my beautiful mom. You guys were there to support me through that. And with all the negativity that happened this year, we still had some good things happen. Sherry Shepard came this year on April 1st. Uh, she's been, she's still been a friend. Shout out to Sherry Shepard. Also, uh, the mayor interviewed me on her show and then she came to my show. So we've had some good things happen. Plus, we've had a lot of fantastic recipes. So thank you guys so much for subscribing, for liking, for sharing, for commenting, and for being a wonderful so source of support for me throughout 2016. I love you all and I'll see you in the new year. Hey guys, if you like what you see here, you may like my vlog channel. Head on over to youtube.com forward slash Fab's Talk to get caught up on what's going on behind the scenes of the cooking channel, what's coming up next, and what's going on in my daily life.